Hello French learners, welcome to Speak French Like Natives. My name is Abhilasha and I am your French language trainer. Now in my this module, I will be teaching you some advanced vocabulary part 5. So let's start. So the first vocabulary you ha we have is Bose. I want to tell you, you can use these vocabularies in C1 as well. Okay. Bose. Bose is to work hard or to work. For example, tu sais quoi? Bose. Va te changer les idées. A bit of work will clear your head. Okay. Second, we have débrouiller. I repeat, débrouiller, which means to manage or to help oneself. Mon vocabulaire me suffit pour me débrouiller dans des situations quotidiennes. Simple. Okay. So I'm repeating. Mon vocabulaire me suffit pour me débrouiller dans des situations quotidiennes simples. I have a sufficient vocabulary for coping with simple everyday situations. So the, so the vocabulary is débrouiller. Okay. Next we have casser. Casser is to break, is to smash down. For example, cela pourrait casser votre appareil ou même allumer un feu. Okay. It could break your device or even ignite a fire. So, cassé. Now, appareil is a device or allumer un feu. So, allumer is to ignite. Okay. Or to lighten something. Un feu, which means fire. Abattre du travail, which means to get work done. Le dîner me sert à abattre du travail. Avant la réunion suivante. So I normally use lunch time to get things done before my next meeting. Okay. So here we have certes. Okay. Certes which means useful. Okay. Le dîner ma sert à. Means the dinner is useful for me to, you know, get the work done. In that sense, you can use. Okay. Now, here we have la réunion. This is feminine. So, this is why suivante. Okay. Faire des farces à quelqu'un. Make fool of someone or to play, to play prank. For example, il pourrait être un jouet amusant pour soulager le stress quotidien. Et faire des farces à vos amis. So I repeat, il pourrait être un jouet amusant pour soulager le stress quotidien et faire des farces à vos amis. It could be a funny toy to relieve stress, daily stress and pull pranks on your friends. So this is very useful word, faire des farces à vos amis ou à quelqu'un. Now, Soulager le stress, which means to relieve stress. Soulager. So, in these, you know, videos, you will get a lot of other vocabularies as well. Okay? Remonter. Remonter, which means to get, go back, to lift, or to get back. For example, Esmeralda connaît à sorte pour remonter le temps. Le temps. Means she knows, she knows, you know, something to go back in time. So, remonter. Réveillonner. Réveillonner, it's very useful and interesting word. Réveillonner, which means to celebrate. Okay? Or to celebrate Christmas Eve or to celebrate. Je ne peux pas réveillonner sans ma fille. So, instead of using fêter, you can use the word réveillonner. Okay? Which means I can't celebrate without my daughter. Réveillonner. Irriguer, I repeat, irriguer, which means to irrigate or to supply or to water something. L'eau traitée est destinée à irriguer des pâturages pour les bovider. So here we can say, l'eau traitée, which means treated water, the water which has been treated maybe uh, through some process and all. A destiné, so you can say something is intended to do. Okay, so here we have this structure. 
être destiné à faire quelque chose. Destiné à irriguer des pâturages pour les beaux vider. Ok? So you got a new verb. So, rétrécir, which means to shrink or to get smaller. Ces dernières années, ça, oh, pardon, ces dernières années, le dessert a commencé à se rétrécir. For example, in recent years, the dessert has started to shrink. Ok? A commencé à se rétrécir. Now, next we have surpasser, 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 which means to overcome, to exceed, or to excel. Avec ce défi supplémentaire, nous montrons notre volonté de surpasser nos engagements. I repeat, avec ce défi supplémentaire, nous montrons notre volonté de surpasser nos engagements. This additional challenge point out our ambition to exceed our commitment. So here we have défi, which means to challenge, supplémentaire, additional. Okay? Volonté, which means ambition or wish, de surpasser, to exceed nos, engo nos engagements, which means engagement, which means commitments. So this, that's it for today. I hope you understood all these vocabularies. In my next video, I'll be posting some more vocabularies, new and advanced. Okay, so till then, merci beaucoup et à la prochaine.